Mr. Al Trombley. Hi. Hi. Hello, Parker. Well, what are you doing here? You come to cheer the boys on, huh? Nice. I'm the new head coach. In Sherbrooke? Congratulations. That's a great gig. I'm a little late, all right? In Hamilton. Hamilton? Oui. Ontario? Oui. On this team? You got it. Well, what the... Okay. Come here. Sorry. No, I, um... Listen, I'm, uh... It's not that I'm not uh, glad to see you and everything. Sure, I am. I'm very happy to see you. And you, 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 you look great and... But who... What the hell's going on? I might ask you the same question. Why? Last time I looked, you were my agent. Yeah, okay. I've been a little slow calling people. Don't change the subject. Who called you? Why? It was Colleen, wasn't it? Right? What do you care? Oh, come on. You know, of course, you've never spent a single game behind the bench. Have you, Al? No, no, no. Not, not in Bantam, not in Junior, not in big time hockey either. You're about the coach guys who were your friends just a few short months ago. You got nothing to work with but Harry Strand's playbook. And Martians couldn't work with that playbook. And, Al, if you don't win the game tomorrow night, I mean win it, this entire franchise it disappears into pixie dust. Everything that I have sweated blood for all this time just goes off into the wind. Otherwise, it's great to see you, and you do look great. And it was Colleen, wasn't it? What was Colleen? Who hired you, Al? Who hired you without telling me? Oh, God. Hello, hello. You know what, Parker? Hmm. I think that I'm going to need some more space down at The Spectator now that you're in charge. And I use that term very, very loosely. Hi. Just tell me it was Colleen, right? It was? Yes, it was Colleen. I knew that. Okay, that's all I need to know. Welcome, Monsieur Tremblay. Bienvenue. I don't wreck my life, okay? Try to treat the new coach fairly, all right? Miss would know fairness if it grabbed her by the butt. Oh, and what would you know about fairness, Mr. Mr. Treat people like compost? What? What he, he does sometimes. Treat people like compost. It's beware. You went behind my back. And the surprises you become. No, no, no. You know, that's fine. I mean, Al can't be any worse than Harry's cake boy. That's not the point. What is? The point is that you got your guy, so I should get mine. The Kerensky deal, it's become a little richer than initially anticipated. How much richer? Uh, what do you care? You're out there wasting money on Al Tremblay behind my oh. back when we need every penny that we've got. Well, I told you that we needed a coach. And I told you a coach is going to make no difference. A scorer will. So give me Kerensky. Seems to me we need a player and a coach. I agree. She's got a point. If we're going to do this thing, let's do it right. We miss the playoffs. We lose everything anyway. There's that we again. How much does Kerensky want, Parker? It's six million. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't think I missed anything about you, but there is your sense of humor. <laughs> okay. I need this, Colleen. I don't care what you need. I've noticed that. You've made that very clear. Parker, this is not about us. Oh, please. It's all about us. No, it's not. It's about what's right for the team. Well, then, good. Kerensky is what's right for business. No Kerensky, no playoff money, no, no money, money, no, no team. team. That's right. Mm -hmm. Six million? Come on. That's nothing against the future. I won't give it to you. Well, then, it is about us. You won't give it to me because you can't give me anything. Even when you should. No, you can't give anything to anybody. I'll give you five seconds before I deck you. Well, there you go. At least I'd be getting something from you. Good for you. Hello? Hey, Bondi. Oh, hi, Mark. Um, this isn't a good time. Listen, how about a drink? Oh, I don't know. I've got a lot of work to do. I really think I should just stay here and get it done. Look, I really need you right now, all right? So just come on, give me something, anything. Give me something, all right? Well, Mark, I mean, it's not that I don't want to. I mean, I want to. I just... All right. Yeah, sure. Um, What's your room number? Oh, 
Ya ven. ¿Qué hago? No, I just, I have this little thing. I... Let me see if I can find it. Oh, no, I mean, the thing is, is that I pay t attention to uh, signs. What signs? My foot got caught on the lamp and it broke. Those aren't signs. Those are accidents. <sighs> okay. I'll bite. What are they signs of? Oh, God, I'm gonna hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much as I will. They are signs that um, what we're doing isn't right. Shoes don't know right from wrong. N neither do lamps. And neither do we. <sighs> Look, if you don't want to be here, all you have to do is tell me. You know, don't hide behind this lamp shoe thing. This is wrong, Mark. It's wrong. I'm getting divorced. So what? You love your wife. So what? So what? You're in love with Parker. It's not slowing me down. Well, it should. Oh, God, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean that. I meant that... Uh... Ah, I, I know what you mean. Uh, what I mean is that if that's what you believe, then you shouldn't be here with me, even if you're wrong, which you are. Because I wouldn't really be with you, even though I would be with you. Assuming that you didn't love your wife, which you do. Because I absolutely do not love <laughs> Brett Parker. No matter what you think. Do you know what I think? What? I think we need a drink. Yeah. A really big drink. Woo! All right, baby. No olives, no twists. No mix. <laughs> Mr. Over here. Skull. <laughs> There's a game on Sportsnet. Good idea. <laughs> well, aren't I the perfect date? <laughs> you don't make out, but. Get to watch hockey. <laughs> the perfect Canadian date, anyway. Man, action! <laughs> Look at that expression. That'll be the perfect final shot for my little uh, docudrama here. What are you doing? <laughs> the tentative title of my little docudrama is, uh, how the team president sapped the captain's strength just before the big game. Oh, God. It's very cinematic, too. Got some wonderful stuff, darling, of Colleen arrives at the hotel, and Colleen goes up to the room, and Colleen greets her at the door. Very cinematic. Parker, you are truly disgusting. No, no, thank you. Zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> zoom in. All right, here's the deal, all right? You give me the money to sign Kerensky, or uh, I go and tell Duff about you and Mark Simpson. What's it going to be? Well, there's no money left but Duff's personal holdings. Fine, I'll take them. Uh oh, tracking shot. I mean, what's the difference? Either the team gets the money or Samantha does. So what's it gonna be? You gonna give me Kerensky or am I gonna go and tell Duff about how you spent your evening? Or just before I go to the Hamilton Spectator. That won't hurt me. Oh, but it'll ruin Mark. Ooh, yeah. 15 years of clean living blown in a single night of dirty love with the bottle blonde who is his boss. That's a nice title too. Parker, this isn't a joke. Hang on, hang on, rewinding. <laughs> Looks great. That's wonderful. Zoom in, zoom out. I was trying to get your, your good side there, but you don't have one, so... Do you realize I was comforting a friend? No, Parker. you were using a friend to make yourself unavailable to me. Oh, my God. What? You think this is about you. Mm. I mean, you think everything I do is still about you. Oh, you said that, not me. I mean, you, you actually think this is about you, you narcissistic little... Okay, okay careful. Don't make me use my little movie. You should seek immediate help. Oh, Parker. yeah. And what about a person who loves someone and all it does is make them wild with fear? Stop thinking of yourself. I'm thinking about the team, Colleen. Oh. You remember them? 
Yeah, the Steelheads. They need to win this last game or it's over here in Hamilton. Kerensky is the best shot that they have, and so I'm going to give that to them. I'm going to give that to them if I have to set the people in my way on fire. And that's where you are, Colleen. You're in my way, and you're fit for burning. So you let me have what I want. You give me Kerensky, or you let Mark Simpson dangle, and that's your choice. Have a nice night. You are the most selfish person I have ever met. You cannot think about anyone but yourself. Colleen, if I really thought about myself, I would walk into the lake until I drowned. Duff, I am telling you, we cannot bring Kerensky in. Corporately, we just don't have the money. I do, personally. Oh, Duff, that's your three million. Well, it's more like 5.2 if you know where to look. Darling, don't be foolish. You never, never use your own money. You know, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I actually agree with Samantha Duff. What does it matter what account it comes out of? It's for the team. That's the important thing. Well, that'll take everything you've got. Yep. To the penny. Do it, Coco. But Duff... Duff, don't you want to have, well, keep some kind of plan for the future? Well, the playoffs start on Tuesday. That's my plan for the future. I only hope the boys are ready.